Hello there. My name is Scott Marker, and I'm the franchise owner of Network in Action, which is a franchise out of Houston, Texas. And I'm the first one here in Idaho. And what it is is a once a month professionally ran networking groups comprised of local high caliber business owners and decision makers. So what I've done is, is during these challenging times, I've decided to come up with what I call Treasure Valley Quick Tips. And I bring in local experts in their field uh, to help other uh, local business owners here in the area uh, you know, be able to thrive and survive through these times. So today, uh, I brought in uh, Joe from Business Office, uh, excuse me, Allied Business Solutions. And uh, he, I've known him for years and he has over a decade of experience. So Joe, why don't you introduce yourself? Thanks, Scott. Yeah, I'm Joe Critchfield. I'm, I'm the Director of Business Development for Allied Business Solutions. And as Scott said, you know, I've been doing this for about 14 years now. Wow. Office technology and, and Allied Business Solutions, people typically, we're an office technology company and people would typically call us when maybe they're frustrated with their current copiers going down all the time or they're just really sick and tired of having network issues or IT related issues or they're really kind of just fed up uh, with the outdated technology within their office space and they're just looking for something more innovative and, and, and really the latest and greatest. Wow. Yeah, and, and kind of tell us, what do you guys do that you, you consider so kind of different than, than other companies that, that say they do what you do? Um, yeah. I mean, what do you bring to the table? That's a great question, Scott. You know, and that's, that's something we have to ask ourselves all the time. What are we doing different on why someone would want to partner with Allied Business Solutions uh, versus anybody else out there? Because right. you can go online and go to www.iwantobuyofficetechnology.com and find, find whatever you need. Yep, yep. But it, but it becomes down to the experience, right? How is that customer experience going to take place? We feel at Allied, you know, we, we've invested heavily in, in, in our people. We don't just hire people just to have a body. We hire people that specialize in certain areas of our business. So we align ourselves to really optimize our experience that we want to expect for our customers. And with that, those people are so relevant in, in how we are perceived out in the community. So we have spent a lot of money going out and vetting out the right people in the right areas. You talk about people, you know, the right seats on the bus. Yeah. You know, that's always important for us is because they, as long as we get the right person on the bus, we'll find the right seat. It's all about creating that culture more than just having a, a, a beer pong table or a foosball table. Yeah, yeah. That culture is so much more than that. It's, it's playing together as a team, you know, and I've got that, that football background and I believe heavily in the team. And that's where I feel like uh, Ally really sets ourselves apart because we are a very tight team, of highly educated, highly informed uh, you know, technology-based backgrounds that are able to perform the duties needed that customers are really looking for. That, that, that's awesome. Yeah, and, and in these uh, times right now, uh, which are definitely, you know, uh, interesting to say at best, it, with all these, uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of your, your clientele have, have a lot of their people working for home, from home right now. So how, how, do you, how are you guys helping out with those changes and some of your existing customers and maybe new customers that you might have with remote yeah. workers now being you know, kind of a common thing. Well, it's interesting you say that, Scott, because, you know, we've been kind of amping up our, our bag of tricks, I guess you can say, for years now. We've always known that the remote worker was going to eventually be the norm. And now we're in a state where it's the norm. So how do we go from an office brick and mortar space to right. go work from home with the same experience that I'm looking for it within my office if I have an issue with my computer, my phone, anything. I'm calling my IT guy here, or I, I can just yell out the door out my office. Well, when you're at home, the only people that yell at is your kids, <laughs> not your proper I, I, coworkers. You're right, and I, I, I can feel that. <laughs> so what we've done is we've, uh, we've brought on more bags of tricks with our unified communication platform. That unified communication platform, it doesn't matter if you're in your office or at your home or in your car. We, we offer our voice over IP phone systems, as well as soft phone systems, as well as just how you want to be connected with your customers, your employees, and just anybody that wants to, to get in contact with you. We've made it so much more efficient these days. And on top of that, the costs behind it are so much less expensive than looking at just your PBX system right now. Plus, in addition to that, we've, uh, we've, we, we've been touting how we uh, have all these electronic document management solutions. 
Well, now more than ever, those solutions are really high on people's priority list because if I'm a remote worker working from home, I need to access data and that data needs to be protected. It needs to be secure. It needs to be easy enough for me to access that data from home. Yep. And just like a Google search, right? And our team of engineers and, and, uh, and subject matter experts, they come in and they create all these types of solutions that are all workflow components um, or storage type solutions. Um, but in addition to that, we're able then to take a remote worker from their office uh, or an office worker to their home and bring in still copiers, printers in addition to that. So it's really us fine tuning a better process for customers to be able to be versatile within their business. That's great. You know, I've, I've kind of known Ally's uh, business solutions for a while and I've known you for a while. It, it, you guys are in the right place at the right time because you, a lot of this you guys have been doing for years. <laughs> so yes. kind of the customers have caught up to what you guys have been doing. So that's, that's right. I find that kind of interesting. So if, if they come to work, work with you guys, what can they expect? I mean, if they, if somebody is, you know, thinking they want to do something new, get away, get away from some legacy systems, or maybe they're just not happy with who they're with. So what can they expect working with you and, and, and the team at Ally Business Solutions? Great question. Great question. Because there's, there's really a, um, a perception in, in our industry of, ah, copy yourself. <laughs> even though you, even though that's just one piece of what you guys do. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Right. And so yeah. nobody wants to get sold to, right? These, yeah. If I have a problem, I don't want to just someone to come sell me what they think is going to be the best that makes them the most money. So what we do differently is, is we have technology consultants. We don't have salespeople that just come and try to sell you a product or service to make a little bit money, right? We have full technology assessments that are taking place by our technology consultants to where they can then vet out what is the best and breed technology needed for you at this time and where is your trajectory as a business going in the next three to five years right where can we align with those goals whether it's our product or services or we've created a massive amount of strategic partners that are in our briefcase some are in our group that i've met in, in our nia nia group apologize oh, perfect that. and and a lot of those partners really come to the table for us in times of need and we look as that trusted advisor for that client and what's great is i feel like uh, our team is the best at translating technology to business intelligence for our customers because most of our customers, they don't want to be pros at technology, <laughs> pros in their field that makes them money. Yeah, pros at what they do. And they exactly. want you to help them, you know, <laughs> yeah. take, care of all, take care of all the technology so they don't have to worry about it. Exactly. So we take them through the full assessment and we find what loopholes there might be. Yeah. We give them a bunch of options and then together between the customer and us, we fine tune what is the best next step and go down that process. Perfect. That's awesome. Hey, uh, one last thing here is I, I heard, I, I saw something the other day. What, 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 what did you, your company and the, the team there, what did you guys win? You know, you know, I appreciate you bringing that up. It's, it's huh? a fun award for us. You know, it, uh, you know, we started in Idaho, we're, we're in, in Utah as well, but we, we yeah. awarded again uh, eight years in a row, best place to work in Idaho. And for us, that's important. That know? is, I mean, that, that is important. I mean, that people can say they're a great place to work, but you know, uh, you know, a lot of those awards are, they're, they're, you know, they're voted on by the employees. So, oh, absolutely. That, yeah. So that's, that's it. congratulations to you. And Thank you. There. Thank you very much. So that's, it's been great. So um, how would people get a hold of you, Joe? I'll make sure I have it in the notes too, but if someone wanted, was interested in, um, you know, having you come out and see if you can save them some money or improve their technology and save them some money, um, yeah. how they, how they reach out to you? How well, they can always, uh, yeah, they can always call me directly, email me directly, and then I'll understand better their, what their needs are. And I will then uh, put and apply the right technology consultant to their account. Uh, whether it's me for that first visit to help understand a little bit more, or I can bring in a few of my team members to then have a better idea. Just it's all relative on really what is the need. If it's a full yeah. in-depth technology assessment, then yeah, myself as well as uh, a few of my other uh, assist, uh, subject matter e experts would come along with me. Perfect. Yeah, and I've, I've I've heard that you guys make 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 that whole process easy too, because people always get spooked on that stuff, and you guys make it real easy. You know. Absolutely. It's really detailed, but you guys make it easy for him. So, hey, I appreciate that, Joe. So thank you very much uh, for coming on and, and kind of helping us out here and letting us know that, you know, at these times people don't, if you're a small business or even a big business here in Idaho, you don't have to worry about um, having remote workers because you guys have been doing it for years and um, you're more than happy to come out and help them out. Yeah, and, and even in the remote workers, Scott, as you talk about it, these big businesses, 
they're finding now that maybe we, need, we don't have to bring in a lot of our people back to our office space. And now they can still be great at what they do, but still have remote workers. I mean, I have customers right now that they're still printing out all the gold and print and all these books and all the send out material that our machines are still doing. They just need one person to run it versus a team of people to do it. And those are just right. the solutions you can come to expect with Work Without. Awesome. Hey, well, thank you very much, Joe. Really appreciate your time there. Thanks, everybody. And uh, keep safe. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it.